since I've been on the good old YouTube. It is good to see you again. I'm not a big fan of these long intros, so let's just get into the video. I'm gonna be doing a 50 facts about me and let's get it started. So the first thing about me is that I love to dance. I love, I'm not necessarily the best at it, but I love making a fool of myself, going out and dancing. I wish it was a thing instead of going out clubbing. I wish dancing was a thing and yeah, that's the first thing about me. I love eating healthy, healthy restaurants, Check, let's do it. I go to Hillsong Church every Sunday at 8 p.m. and I praise it up because worthy is the lamb, am I right, ladies? I would love to be a combination of Reese Witherspoon and Carly Claus. Like, that would be the ultimate girl boss to me. Most of my saved photos on Instagram are from the accounts of My Life as Ava, Peace Love Shay, and Devin Carlson, as well as Sydney Carlson. I love how they're just pushing the limits and really going out there and they're, you know, using those creative juices wisely. Love that. I'm absolutely obsessed with anything girl boss or with women empowerment. And I believe you can have it all. You can be a CEO, woman in power, but also have an amazing family, be a hot mom, have like five kids, a hot husband to come home to at night. And I believe you can have it all, so keep doing you. I absolutely love to journal and write things down so that I can take note of them and see how much I've grown to look back and reflect on the memories. I think it's just a really cool thing and it's a sacred little journal to have. I love sports, especially basketball and football. They're my favorite and they get me so excited. Like, sign me up, let's go to a game. I'm not necessarily a clean freak, but I'm definitely an organization freak. My absolute favorite accessory are hats, you guessed it. Um, I also love scarves and bandanas, headbands, anything I can put in my hair to basically not have to do it in the morning. I just think they're so cute and I have a round face, so I don't know, kind of looks better, I feel like. I don't know, I just like them. My music taste is literally all over the place. I love everything from crazy EDM like Martin Garrix to Zach Brown Band, which is country if you don't know what that is. So I'm currently living in Los Angeles, California, and I absolutely love it, but I am from the Midwest. I was born and raised in Bloomington, Indiana, and I could so see myself moving back there one day. And I would have never thought I would ever say that like five years ago. I'm allergic to tilapia the fish, and that's all I know of. I absolutely love the rush and the feeling of living downtown LA in the city. Everyone's so hardworking and stylish and motivating, but I also love the peacefulness of being back home in good old Indiana with the grass and the leaves and trees and nature, you know, peacefulness. I don't know, I really like it too, and people are super nice back home. So this is kind of random about me, but every time I'm reading a book, I love to have a pen in my hands because I love to annotate what I'm reading and underline important parts or things that I think stand out to me just because I feel like I won't pay as much attention as if I don't have a pen in my hand. No joke, you guys, my passion planner is like my best friend, and I'm proud of that. I rely so much on it. I really, 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 really want to go to Australia. I would much rather spend money on experiences instead of things. My favorite YouTubers are Lauren Elizabeth, Claudia Saluski, Casey Neistat, David Dobrik, and Callie Kaiser, because she has amazing hauls. She is totally pushing the limits. Recently, I've been trying to walk the walk more than talk the talk, because I think it has a lot more power behind it. My favorite workout of all time is Soul Cycle, and my favorite instructor is Jamie Glassman. She teaches at the Pasadena and Beverly Hills locations, and she's just amazing. They're so motivating. I sweat like a pig, and I feel so good once I finish a soul class. So recently, I've been working out every day and making it a priority to work out every day, and I've been feeling great. I really, really, really want a six pack. We're working on it, though. I am currently studying digital media at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, which is like production and post-production for film and television. While I'm studying all of the ins and outs of being behind the camera, I secretly love to be in front of the camera as well. My dream job is to be either an executive producer or a host, or both. 
I prefer watching television series way more than I prefer watching movies. So Stranger Things, Riverdale, Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, sign me up. I've never seen Harry Potter. Is that weird? Should I watch it? Let me know. I try to call someone that I love at least once a day and I just actually really care about how they're doing and I want to hear their voice and I love them so why not call and check in on them and a lot of people that I love live across the country so I have to call them otherwise I'd see them in person I love Instagram I love Instagram stories and I love Instagram polls follow me at Taylor King T-A-Y-L zero R underscore King <laughs> if I were any animal I think I would be a dolphin but I don't know let me know what you think I would be if you're trying to get in contact with me, FaceTime me. Don't text me. I'll most likely see it and then forget to reply. Either FaceTime me or audio message me. I love both of those. Birthdays are a huge deal to me and I think everyone should celebrate them as much as I do. Gracias Madre, True Food, and Cafe Gratitude are by far my favorite restaurants in LA and probably my favorite restaurants of all time. And Joffrey's is pretty good too in Malibu. Delicious. I love acai bowls so much and it kind of bothers me when people call them smoothie bowls. I don't know why. I guess that's like a pet peeve of mine. People in the Midwest are definitely nicer than people in LA, but you can find nice people in LA. It is possible. I feel most at home when I can just be myself. So these bad boys are my favorite boots of all time. They're basically like a body part of mine because I literally wear them everywhere and I just had a pair that I retired because I bought these new ones, the exact same ones because I love them so much and they make me look way cooler than I am. Traffic doesn't bother me as much as you think it would here in LA. I mean, it is actually horrible, but I love driving in my car and listening to my music. And this is what I normally call my list of favorites to check in and see how they're doing. Well, I've recently been struggling with this random wave of acne. It just like decided to just, you know, show up and be like, hey, what's up, Tay? And um, I'm not really a big fan of it. I'm pretty insecure about it actually. And I hate how I edit it out in my Instagram photos. I really want to be more authentic on Instagram because I think social media and the internet in general can be inauthentic at times. My favorite colors are black, white, red, and blue because I think they look pretty good on blondes. I don't know, you let me know. I love wearing red lips, mm, so cute. But lately I've been into the gloss, you know, you feel me, 90s vibes? Kind of love it. Did anyone used to use those smackers like lip gloss with that like taste like cotton con candy? Like I can literally eat that. <laughs> so my best friend is Allie Bieber and she got me obsessed with saying Illy when I say bye to people. So I'll literally like get out of an Uber and I'll be like, thank you Illy. And they're like, what? <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, Illy is like, I love you, like I-L-Y, but you know, abbreviated. I always leave my apartment with my water bottle and like 18 million lip glosses. I love my water bottle and I love drinking water. I really want two golden retrievers, one a boy and a girl with a blue bandana and a red bandana. Very particular about that. I absolutely love fashion and dressing weird. My parents kind of think I'm crazy when I walk upstairs and they see what I'm wearing, but I don't really care. I just, I like what I'm wearing, so don't bother me. I have a younger brother who's crazy smart and super athletic but I think he should be an actor. And he's one of my best friends. My parents are freaking awesome. And they hate when I say the word freaking. <laughs> my birthday is June 25th and I'm a cancer. So that means like I'm emotional and love my family and stuff, which is true. Hold on, I lost my spot. I love leather jackets. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was great to have you again. Great to be back on YouTube. I'm gonna be pumping out videos once a week for you guys. Please feel free to, if you have any of the same interests as me or if you wanna chat or if you have any questions, DM me on Instagram or comment down below. I will read them and I will reply as fast as I possibly can. And it's great to be back. I will see you next week and be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. My links will be down below. Have a great day guys and Peace.